Good morning guys, coming to you from the UK. Very snowy morning this morning. Terrible out there. Um, anyway, I just want to talk to you this morning about <coughs> um, flipping houses. Um, and for anybody who doesn't know what flipping houses means, it basically means we buy a house cheap, um, you renovate the house, and then you sell it at a higher price for a profit. So it's, it's an interesting business model. It's not something as a company we really get involved with. Personally, I've done it myself because I've got people on the ground in the US, but I think as an investor, I think it's a great idea and, and you know, the, the whole concept of the whole thing is, is, is great, you know? I buy a house for 20,000, I spend $20,000 on it, and I sell it for 80 or 90 and I make, what, 50, 60% on your money. It sounds great, um, but it's not as easy as, as it sounds, you know? Um, and I think a lot of things can go wrong along the way. Um, can it work? Yes, of course it can work and you can do well, but I think for domestic clients, or for people that are on the ground in Cleveland or in Detroit or in St. Louis. Um, I think it's a lot easier because you can like manage the project, you know? Um, you're on top of the contractors. And also, I think that's another good point as well. I think I think finding the right contractors is, is very, very important because, you know, I've been what, 11 years in US property now and I've come across some very bad contractors and um, don't do the work right, uh, disappear. Um, so obviously that sets you back on any project that you intend to flip. I think the inspection is vital when, you, when, when you're looking at the, the property that you wanna buy um, because you can buy the property and then unforeseen things can happen. So, for example, burst pipes. Um, I, I did a project once, and I think it ended up costing me money um, in the end. After we sold the property, I think I lost money on it. So, I think it's a question that I get asked a lot, you know, Mike, can you help me flip a house? And uh, of course, uh, you know, if that's something you want to do and you want our assistance, we can help. It's not really something as a company, we would promote for uh, foreign national buyers or really for domestic clients that are out of state. So a New York investor uh, flipping a house in Cleveland. To me, you need to be on the ground, you know, and um, have boots on the ground, which is one of the reasons I do it because I have staff on the ground in, in, in Cleveland, staff on the ground in Detroit, and I know the cities well. Um, and I kind of know what, what to look for, but I think for any early or novice investor looking to flip a house in the US, I, I, I wouldn't really recommend it. I think the bottom line is get your money working for you. If you've got 40, 50, $100,000 um, sat in a bank or building society or in, in investments that aren't necessarily giving you a decent return. I think there's a lot of different ways that you can invest your money and give you good cash flow, buy a good property, turnkey, and um, that's gonna rent well, good location, good management, and give yourself anything between, I don't know, 10 and right up to 18, 19, 20% uh, returns, you know? So I think there's better ways of, of, of making your money work for you than, than flipping houses. So I just wanted to cover that this morning. It was a question that has come up a couple of times last week with myself, with a couple of clients, and I know Scott and Barry were talking to a couple of clients, Marcella as well, in South America, that were saying, you know, can, can we help them source properties um, to, to flip? Which of course we can do anything, um, but we wanna give you the best advice, and there's a lot of things I think that you need to take into consideration when looking at flipping a house, and I think, the main thing, you need to be on the ground. Um, it's like I live in Newcastle right now, so I'm in Newcastle, hence the snow. Um, and I, I would buy a house here if it was the right price, and I thought I could do renovations on it and, and, and sell it at a, 
at a higher price and make a profit, it makes sense, you know? Um, but if I was down in London or lived in Spain or lived in Florida or wherever, would I buy a house in Newcastle to flip? Not knowing the area, not knowing the contractors, not being here to oversee the work. No, the likelihood is I wouldn't. Um, so I hope that helps. Um, and we've got some good product in Cleveland this week, Detroit, and we've just launched our Canton campaign, which probably will go out, I think, this evening. It's due to go out at about like six, seven o'clock this evening. Um, so watch out for that. It's a great new product, all financeable, uh, 70, 80% mortgages available for foreign nationals and for domestic clients as well. So keep an eye out for that. I'll put the website above, email above, and you guys have a great Sunday. Speak soon.